at the time of the crisis between Hashem and Klal Yisrael, we have the mitzvah to keep going. Go to the place that I swore to Av Mitzri and Yaakov, and I told them that I will give it to their progeny. And that's you. And you have to keep journeying and you have to go there. The problem is that there's a shift in the relationship in the wake of this crisis. In the wake of Chet Egel, the Rebona Shalom tells Moshe Rabbeinu, I'm sending my Malach. There'll be an intermediary, but I'm not actually going to be with the same level of presence with you as you go into Eretz Yisrael. The Jewish people are aggrieved and mourning this, as the Torah is on to describe, and Moshe does not let the point stand. Instead, he actually lobbies for the Rebona Shalom to be more involved. And finally, he says to the Rebona Shalom, Vayomer elav, im ein panach holchim, al ta'aleinu mizeh. If you're not coming along, Rebona Shalom, meaning not that God wasn't going to be involved at all, but that it would be more distant. There would be many more layers, so to speak, between the Rebona Shalom's hashgacha and what was happening in Eretz Yisrael to the Jewish people. And Moshe says, I, we can't abide that. If that's going to be the case, then don't take us out of this. We'll just stay right here here encamped at Harsinai and forget the rest of the Jewish journey. So the Rebona Sha'olam relents and actually decides to have basically a middle ground. And he explains to Moshe Rabbeinu that that middle ground has to do with being placed in what's called the Nikrat Atzur, the cleft of the rock. Rebona Sha'olam says, as it were, I'm putting you in this cleft of the rock on Har Sinai, and I'm going to cover you with my hand, so to speak. I'll remove my hand. The back of me you can see, the front, that's impossible. And the Chetam Sofer, quoted by the Rav, by Rav Soloveitchik, says that this means that sometimes a person is placed into the cleft of the rock. The word for the rock is the, the tsur, tsur milashon tsar, a place that is narrow, straight. So when you're in there, you're not going to understand what's happening as it's happening. Chatam Sofer says it's only Varitat Achorai in retrospect, weeks, months, years, decades later, that the Klaiso can look back and see the guiding hand of the Ribbon Sha'ola. Um, and the Rav adds to this that when we daven in the Slivot, we say, We hope that you'll be discoverable even through our very request. The fact that we're searching for you, Hashem, we should find you very easily, even before we're answered, but to feel your guiding presence. Now, we're not living in that time. Today we see Nisim Gluyim and Nisim Nistarim, revealed miracles, hidden miracles, all over the place in Eretz Yisrael and Medinat Yisrael. We've seen them for many years, and they're continuing right now. Let's continue to daven together that um, even though we don't understand, it'll take a very long time for us to understand, if ever, all of the events that have led to this crisis, the crisis itself, and we're still in it. But we already understand what it means that we are, even now, in the Nikrat through the Cleft of the Rock, uh, the idea that Pasakoti Chapi Alecha Ad Ovri, the Bonus Sha'olam, as it were, has his hand on us, helping us, guarding us, protecting us, and hopefully protecting our Chayalim as well. And uh, hopefully soon we'll hear the great news of the release of the rest of the hostages and of the total victory of Tzahal. We should hear of salvations, consolations, uh, and good news uh, speedily in, in our day. Wishing everyone Shabbat Shalom.